In this video we are going to have the cat draw a triangle on the screen and the triangle is going to start in the middle of the screen here somewhere and he's going to walk this way a hundred steps and then he's going to turn and go this way and he's going to turn to the left again and go this way and when he gets done he's going to turn to the left again so he's facing back in the direction that he started. So he's going to turn and turn and turn and in the process of making three turns, he's going to go all the way around and end up where he started, which means he's going to turn a full 360 degrees to make a complete circle and start out, end up where he started. So um, this is what we're going to do. First of all, every program starts with when clicks, so we've got to start with that. Okay, and we're going to have him draw with a pen. So. Uh, I need to look at my pen commands here and we always want to clear the screen uh, because otherwise whatever is left from the last time that we drew anything will be there and um, then we want to put the pen down and we're going to uh, set the pen size we're going to make it a little bit thicker line just so it's a little bit easier to see so we're going to click on that and when it turns black we can type on top of it and I'm going to put a 3 on top of it. So we're going to set this pen size to 3. Okay, So that doesn't really do anything, it doesn't draw anything on the screen for us, it just kind of gets us ready to go. Um, and I also want him to start in the center every time. If I do some drawing and he ends up up here, uh, then that's where the next program will start. And I always want him to start in the middle of the screen. So uh, that's going to be a motion command and I want to tell him to go to uh, location zero zero the center of the screen. Now he's also kind of big and he covers up a lot of the line when he's drawing so the other thing we're going to do is uh, we are going to change his size and I think that's under looks here and let me see change size to and 100% is his regular size. I'm going to make him very small. I'm going to change that from 100 to 5. So 5 is 1 20th of his original size. So instead of being this tall, he's probably only going to be about as tall as his foot when we get done. Um, so that still doesn't actually do anything. If I run this though, well, I'll run it right now and watch him. The only thing it's going to do is put him in the middle where he already is, but it will shrink him down to 5%. So let's go ahead and click on the green flag here and run it. And uh, there he is at 5%. You know, it's almost too small. Let's stop the program and let's change it to double click on the 5 here. And we're going to make it 10%, okay, and hit enter, or hit enter, okay. So uh, then what I want to do is I want to draw one line in this direction. I want to turn one-third of a circle, which is 120, and then I want to go and walk, and then I want to turn a third of a circle, and then I want to go 120. When I get done, I'll do another turn. That last turn isn't really necessary, but uh, uh, it just kind of completes the whole thing and gets him back facing the direction where he started. So uh, there's a couple of ways to do this. Uh, one is let's go to our motion here and we can tell him to move 100 steps instead of 10. 10 is a very short line so we're going to move 100. And then we have him turn to the left so I want this one. And one third of a circle is 120. The full circle is 360 so one third of a circle is 120. And then I'm going to have him, and that will draw, that will draw the first line, and it'll get him to turn. Then I want to draw the second line. Actually, you know what? Let's just pull that off here, and let's just run it and see what we get. Okay, so there's my first line. Okay, now, after I do that, I want to, um, he's turning now, and he's facing this way. And I want him to move 100 steps again, so put 100 there instead of 10. Then I want him to turn left again when he's done. So this will get him to go up here and then he's going to turn left and he'll be pointing down this way. So let's um, run the program again. And uh, let me see. Oh, I did not. Uh, let's stop the program. 
I did not have him turn 120. Let's have him turn 120. And um, okay, I'm clearing. Let's uh, let's just uh, pull all of this down here for a second. Let's make sure we stop and pull it down. Okay, and now let's try to run it again. And um, oh, I have to have him go to the middle first. So let's have him go to the middle. And now let's try to run it. Okay, so now he's in the middle. What I was doing before was I was putting the pen down and then having him move to the middle. So uh, he was actually drawing a line going back to the middle and we don't want that. So uh, now we're good. Go to the middle, clear everything, put the pen down, set the pen size to three, uh, shrink the cat down, and then have him move 100 this way, and turn so he's pointing this way, go 100, turn so he's pointing down this way. Let's run that. And you know what? He's not facing the right direction when I start either. So let's uh, go back in here, and let's make sure that he is pointing to the right, which is 90. Okay, and now let's drag this up here, and now let's stop the program, try to run it again, and there we go. So he's pointing in the right direction. We start, um, starts in the middle, we clear the screen, put the pen down, make the pen wider, and we go to the right, and go 100 steps, we turn, go 100 steps, turn, and I want to do 100 steps more to get back down to where I started, and then to complete all of my turning, let's make this 100, and then to complete all of my turning, I'm going to have him turn to the left one more time, and he's going to turn 120 degrees, okay? okay. So now let's uh, run the program again, and there it is, okay? Now, these instructions here on uh, the blue instructions over here in my program are it's the same thing three times. Move 100, turn 120. Move 100, turn 120. Move 100, turn 120. And if you find yourself doing the same thing over and over again, you don't need to keep repeating it. Okay, so I'm just going to get rid of these. And what you can do is you can tell um, Scratch to repeat it as many times as you want. So let's drag this repeat instruction over here and have it grab both of those and I want it to repeat three times instead of ten. So let's change that to a three. Just click someplace. Now let's go click up here on our button to start it. And that's a whole lot easier. Uh, it's not a big deal if you're only drawing a three-sided figure, but what if you're drawing a ten-sided figure or a twenty-sided figure or something you know with a whole bunch of sides? Then you want to do a repeat command. So uh, this is how you can draw a simple triangle. And what I want you to do is I want you to figure out how to draw a square with four sides and a pentagon with five sides and and so on. Your program will be similar to this, but you're going to have to draw a different uh, number of sides and you're going to have to uh, figure out how much you need to turn to draw each one of those.